Well, hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Fallout 4. Awesome. So, as I'm sitting here today, I know I should be editing other videos, but I always say F it and let's play some Fallout 4. And I was kind of exploring Sanctuary here before I was going to start recording, and unfortunately, lo and behold, we're starting to record, right? <laughs> because he's he opened up this chat he started to, to, to talk to me so yeah let's carry on and continue how were things here while I was gone just catching up on old yard work some occasional pest control and you sir anything to be found in Tonka? um maybe we'll see we certainly shall I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but oh. if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Hmm. No, not now. All right, then. Yeah, we'll keep Codsworth here. I don't really want a companion. Because I think you can have either your dog, your dog meat, or another companion with you. And I've always hated companions in these games. Ever since, um, I don't know, all of the other shows and videos. Shows and videos, what am I saying? All the other games and whatnot. So, I'm just kind of checking these things. He's working on this stuff too. That hasn't grown yet. Just, uh, how's this? Ah, oh, this is grown. Uh, we got these flower things here we got this thing here no, no nothing yet so he's working 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 uh, it's kinda I'm gonna kind of explore a little bit around here I was this is what I was gonna do originally oh look there's a doghouse here so I didn't have to build one probably tear up the one that we built um, there's stuff in there to loot most likely probably right here yeah look at that we never we grabbed the stuff huh that's cool I don't think we've explored this house, maybe. Let's take a quick peek in this one. Unless this is where the cooking station was. Then we might have explored this one. Let's go check the washroom out. Yeah, we did explore. Okay. Alright, that way there's nothing in there. Ah, excuse me there. I had to sneeze, so I muted it. and. <laughs> I was trying to move the controller. What the heck is going on with today? Look at this. What is this? Is it like midday? Uh, does the pip boy tell me the time? Uh, is there a clock on here somewhere? How about under the map? Oh yeah, see, so it's like noon time almost. Weird, weird. Mm, man, another sneeze. I think we're getting s sick here in our house. That's just wonderful. Uh, I just thought I saw someone duck in here. Ah, Mama Murphy, what are you doing in here? Oh my goodness. I'm a drug addict. That's funny. So they probably wander around within Sanctuary. Or within the the whole zone. Um, let's, let's take a peek here. Now... I could not know what I'm talking about and just absolutely talk blah 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 but basically you'll notice maybe not yet because the haze but see right here where the river kind of is you'll notice uh, there's this border here right and so outside you're in the workshop mode but then you can't do anything and if you st outside of it too long I guess it takes you out um, so yeah, but anyways, that's like a border of the whole place, and I think what will happen is all those people will wander around in here. You know, we still need to go around and kind of, let's do this, we still need to go around and kind of clean all this crap up here. Like there's these tires, there's a toilet bowl, there's this ruined house here, let's kind of clear this off. Let's scrap it. But, oh, I didn't realize I was going to do the whole thing. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> the door fell apart, probably. From 
Uh, man, that's funny. Okay, well, here's another big pad that we could use to build off of. Can we scrap this hedge? No, it's permanent. Okay. So we could use this area to build with, potentially. I didn't realize it would do that. <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. Okay, that's fine. Um, maybe we could use these pads. Maybe this would be like the main base of this place. Man, it's bright. What the heck's going on here? I wonder what kind of weather, storm, or pattern. So anyways, so what do we need to do now? Uh, let's take a look at our quests here, um, which is here. So I need to build defenses. I don't want to track that. So you need to report a success to Ten Pines Bluff. So how are we going to do that? Let's just fast travel? And uh, Mr. John Turner. <laughs> I think that's his his name in YouTube here. He commented on one of my videos and mentioned that I should not use the uh, the boxed goodies. Oh, what's this guy? He has a gun. Who are you? Oh, okay. Preston. Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. Nice. Well, you got a gun, so at least I know this place will be safe with you around. Okay. So what was I talking about? Crap. Ah, oh, man. That's, I tell you, I need to have this stuff written down, I think, jotted down. But most of the time when I play this game, I just don't have a plan. I just hop on and, and give it a shot. So Ten Pines Bluff, right? We're going to fast travel. I remember now. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's just fast travel there. That doesn't really matter about actually walking the stuff. Because we know, if I'm going to do like an, like an exploration run and kind of like hit buildings as I go, then I would walk it, right? But... For purposes of YouTube, we're just going to go right there. Um, I tried to push A, and here, I'll try it again. Ah, here we go. Okay, well, here we are. We're back. Look at that. Cool. It's clearer here today. Ah, oh, man, this game is so beautiful. I just wish I could get a better FPS. So I apologize to all of you watching out there in YouTube land. Oh, what's that? I never noticed that. We'll have to make it to that way. See? Like, this is what I mean. Like, now I want to go explore there, you know? Like, you know we went to that place, the assembly plant, way down there, the Corvega assembly plant, right? Like, oh, man, Fallout 4. Oh, yeah, here we go. This probably will always grow fruit. I bet you I could pick all these and sell them and stuff. Um, so where is I? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Let's talk to this dude. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Come on. You find those raiders? Mm. Which one do we pick? Kick their asses or take care of them? Let's go kick yeah. their asses. I'll kick their asses for you. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again. Oh, what does this mean? Does this, like, unlock as a settlement zone? But then where's the... Oh, I never, I never even seen this. How did I miss this, folks? Oh, my goodness. Makes me want to watch my episode where I, I originally came here. Like, really? <laughs> oh, folks, folks, folks. Now what's going to happen, unfortunately, the happiness is going to drop. Because there's no defense. Hmm. Okay, let's pop out. And now let us look at the map. Uh, now it's like a, a zone to... Cool. So that means there's this place right here. I got the Starlight Drive-In. Now we also have the Red Rocket Truck Stop. We have Sanctuary, which has five people. I don't know if that's what we've always had, but yeah. The percentage is going up. It's 28% now instead of 22%. So we're doing something right there. Um, so now what do you do when you've talked to these people? What, do you have to actually go explore? Or will this continue... Our quest. Um, oh, because the Minutemen. That's right. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Okay, so it's a continuation of this current quest. 
Okay, I should I should know better than that. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna fast travel back to Sanctuary. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, and let's go way over here back to Sanctuary. Okay, well we're back. Now it's nighttime, so time does progress when you fast travel, which is kind of nice. Here's our wonderful power armor. So let us go into our wonderful infinite storage. <laughs> and let us continue putting storage away. Um, so I'm, we're not supposed to eat these as per John Turner, I believe is his name. If I missed it and it's not right, I apologize to you <laughs> if you're still watching. So I'm going to store these ones. Okay, we got these guys. We can we can all kind of eat these guys. Uh, dirty water, I'm not sure if we use that for anything. It has a little bit of weight, but I think we can carry it. Um, this fusion core is what we're trying to kind of sell. So we can buy a new one. Oh, gourds. Okay, let's throw that in there. Um, jets. Any equipment? I think we already did this last episode, but unfortunately, I'm doing it again. I just wanted to make sure that I have everything in here that's required because you know we have that whole place in the Corvega assembly plant to explore. Um, yeah, there's just lots of stuff. And I know we have to go to Vault 111 to grab our ring, so let's go do that. I forgot to open the. The vault down there so actually let's take a look at our level up so now we have a level up what is our are we level seven yet because that's the key we need to get to the next locksmith so I won't bother going back into the vault then until I know we can open up master locks so until we get you basically like level 18 maybe yeah so level 18 we'll have to go back there okay so let us talk to like, dude, where are you? Let's head over here. We need to make defenses. Not sure where we're going to build those, but yeah. Let's talk to the dude. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help huh. from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet. But once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. Ah. So, there's something I need to ask you. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the minute. But I never really told you what happened to us. Cool. So we leveled up. And I think I need to increase my volume. I think you mentioned that too, John Turner. <laughs> oh, man. I hope I'm not screwing this up badly. <laughs> Otherwise, welcome. This is what it's like here at Charlotte Moore's Adventures. <laughs> uh, uh, last Minute Man. Are you really the last Minute Man? Maybe not literally. But there must be a lot of former Minute Man out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minute Men. And now, well, it's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord. Hmm. I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. 
And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Can you explain what the Minutemen are all about? We're citizen soldiers. The people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves and decide our own future. That was the original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand for. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back and bring the whole Commonwealth together. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome Go. aboard. Just got an achievement. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen <laughs> has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. But one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Huh. So now what? It's frozen, I don't see anything. Our scouts have found a promising hmm. spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Hmm. That's interesting. So yeah, so there we go. Now we got a new mission. Hello, dog meat. Okay, so let's take a look at where this is going to send us. Whoa, way down here. Okay, that is interesting. Very interesting. So what does that mean? Well, that means we're probably going to discover whole crap load of places in between here and down here so how do we want to explore this right well I'm thinking of going back to the vault and then kind of heading south maybe hit this road up follow it into town here and then kind of head back this way is what I was thinking but I think we'll do that yeah, let's head on that journey. To heck with it. Let's just do it. So, hmm. how are we going to do this? Let us go this way. Let's go back to where the vault is, I think. And then we'll kind of explore the other side of stuff. Or we can just follow the road. There's a water tower there. Um... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think we're going to follow the road, most likely. Let's take a quick peek here. Okay. So nothing's changed, of course. So that's all right. Um, anything kind of deadly down there? No. Nope. Okay, I don't see anything there. How about over there? Oh, I don't want to fall. <laughs> uh, bodies. How do we drag stuff? There's a way of picking up and dragging stuff. Um, so let's kind of take a quick peek at the options. We don't normally do that, but let's do it anyways. So we're going to take a quick peek here. So I know we can pick up stuff. But it's not in here. Sprint, sneak, toggle, POV, pip boy, ready, reload, activate. There has to be a way of picking up stuff. Um, let's see, here we go. And um, save in Pip Boy every 10 minutes. Pip Boy app, I wonder what that is. How about audio? We'll, we'll pump up the audio just a tad. Or maybe we'll up the, uh, the voice. Because everything else seems to be okay. Okay, and then let's carry on let's give it a quick save here just to make sure it's nicey nice and let's carry on man so how have all you been doing you know we've had a Christmas party here recently uh, the time of this recording is December 2nd maybe 3rd 
Oh man, I don't really give a crap about the time, the date, or anything. It doesn't mean anything. It's just another day. Another day of surviving. Another day of living a life on planet Earth here. Uh, where did that big water tower go? Am I like blind? I saw it in the distance. Ah, oh, there it is. I'm going to head towards this water tower because I want to kind of check it out. So, we're going to actually switch to our rifle. Let's kind of take a quick peek here. Okay, I don't see anybody. Okay, so let's carry on. You can probably run there. Some trees chopped down. Kind of take a quick peek here at this thing. Kind of neat looking water tower. What's this? Ooh, look at this. Nice, nice, nice. What's this stuff? More purified water? Wow. Just oodles and oodles of it. What'd you find, dog meat? What? Ah. Oh. Look at you, dog meat. Good job. Good boy. Where are ya? How you doing, buddy? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. A bayoneted hardened pipe sniper rifle. Nice. Lightweight leather chest piece. Let's take a, a, a quick peek at the chest piece to see if it's better than what we use now. Cool, I can't wait. So we can take that bayonet off of it potentially. And it's hardened. And quick high capacity. So mine's 19, it's 16. We definitely will scrap it. Um, I got the flare gun to call the Minutemen, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's it for weapons, hey? Yeah, okay, apparel. Right here, lightweight leather chest piece. So three damage resist, 10, I guess, electrical resist. What's this one? So I guess the weight is 5 and the weight is 3 on this. 5 AP. 5. What's that 5 AP? Let's put that on then. Do we get more like VATS points? Um, oh, I think we leveled up. I jumped for some reason. Um, okay, so... That's actually a very good job. So what we need to do now is I'm just kind of taking a quick back storage key. Oh yeah, that's probably for where we were, maybe. Um, junk mods, ammo. Okay, no, I don't know, I don't know. Um, okay, anyways. Oh yeah, there we go, I remember. Uh, we are going to check this thing. I think now we can get expert. Definitely want that. Now we need level 18. Um, uh, I don't know if I want lady killer. Uh, scrapper. You can salvage uncommon components from scrapping weapons and armor. So we might pick this one because we do scrap stuff. We have gun nut. I do want the armor. Oh man, there's so many perks I want. I want vans. Actually, let's just pick vans. Because what vans will do. So we have a marker, right? So if we open up vans, it will show us the direction we have to go. And we have a bloat file over here. And it's standing still. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Ah, good job. Dog meat. Huh. <laughs> okay, we killed the other one over here somewhere. Okay, where are you? Oh, way over here. Now, there's these lights here I'm noticing. What is this place? What 
What is this place? Clarabelle. Let's take a quick zoom. Looks like it's uh, settlement and stuff. What the heck? What's this? Are we near near where we need to be? Let's take a quick peek at our map. No, no, we're nowhere near where we need to be. But there's something here. Hmm. Let's go. T let's go. Take a quick peek here. I don't see anybody. And see that bothers me because. We're going to walk in and there'll be things everywhere. Unless we've discovered a new farm. Abernathy Farm. Okay. Let's take a quick peek in here. See if it's like a... Okay, it's, it's potentially a settlement. There's a workshop here. You aren't allied to this settlement. Ah... Ah, oh, look, 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 look at this. <clears throat> Here for work? We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. I'll give you caps for any you can bring me. What are you paying? Yeah, like bottle caps? And because of money? Uh, at least it is here in the Commonwealth. You guys pay for picking huh. bottle caps? What happened to dollars and cents? That old stuff? Not too useful these days, unless you're looking to stack up your outhouse. Huh. You look like you have a pretty successful farm here. We'd like to think so. Having Clarabelle helps. Free fertilizer, as Daddy would say. Whatever saves caps. <laughs> Whatever saves caps. Clarabelle? Who, who's that? Claire is our Brahmin. I like to consider her just as much a part of the family as Maisie. She's our cat, in case you were going to ask about her, too. Look, there's a why, but there's no response. Huh. Sure. I got time to help out. Great. Doesn't have to be now, but whenever you get the time. So, just melons? How about this dude? Hey there. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. Excuse me. New here? Well, if you've got anything worth trading, you can talk to me. Oh, that's cool. What have you got? It ain't a lot, but I've got a few basic supplies. Cool, cool, cool. Ammo, meds, that sort of thing. Shop. Ammo and meds? What kind of basic supplies are those? Very basic. You want to survive out here? You need ammo <laughs> and meds. So, you up for a trade or not? Sounds good. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, shipment of cloth? So this is probably for settlement stuff. Maybe? Huh. That's pretty freaking cool. Uh, just, okay, so no... Okay. But, we can definitely trade... Watch this. Uh, we're going to go ammo, um, ammo, I think. My ammo? Right here. Fusion core. 69 value so right now we're gonna collect 69 from them but like there's a melon on here let's pick that up um, two, three four we need to always collect oh that's expensive man maybe we won't do the ammo um, I think that's it. I'll just do the. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, and then we go accept. We got some more bottle caps. We took them from her. Perfect. And now we can exit. How is the trade with Diamond City? Good. When my husband actually gets around to doing it. That is, if no one raids the farm first. Why do you think I'm selling ammo and meds? You can't protect yourself. The Commonwealth will swallow you right up. <laughs> uh, can't say I've been to Diamond City yet. Biggest city in the Commonwealth. Anything you need, anything you want to know, that's the place to start. 
I don't think so. Great. Maybe next time you can get right to the point instead of wasting my time. <laughs> wasting my time. Hey, Connie. Well, there's nothing's a waste, Connie. Okay, so we got that. So let's just take a quick kind of peek through this place. So this is so there are people here. It's kind of cool. And now it's going to be kind of like a settlement zone once we ally ourselves. So these melons. Let's see where these melons are. I'm not really in the mood for exploring too too much. Um, is it these things? These are all potatoes. Potato. Or do they expect us to build melons and then bring them back and then trade? I think that's what's going to happen. Because this place, pretty much other than this workshop, which we can't access, is locked down. So, where's this guy going? Hey there. Hey there. What you doing, Gene? Just walking out in the middle of nowhere and turning around? So we're actually, I'm going to head back, I think. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, I'm going to head back. And we're going to head back. Oh, what? There's mutt fruit here. Wild mutt fruit. That's cool. Man, how would you not even loot that? Like, that's that's crazy. Uh, there's the red rocket, so sanctuary should be over on the left here. Yeah. Cool. So there you go. So there was a little adventure here for all of you. Hopefully you've all enjoyed it. Hopefully you are enjoying this series so far, because I'm enjoying playing this game. Today was just one of those days, didn't really feel like doing story stuff, so kind of did a little bit of that. Kind of did a little bit of the exploration aspect and kind of found a new place. We'll have to head further south and just kind of carry on in, the, in that direction that that we saw, right? So, yeah. So, so, so thank you, buddy, for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode, as always. And, yeah, have a good day.